All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nick, and I'm back, and I'm kind of going to do a vlog today. We're going to see how this goes. I have a full day off from work, uh, so I'm trying to bring it back to the days where I was self-employed. So I woke up, worked out a bit, had a nice breakfast. So now we're just going to go do some Postmates for a bit to see how busy it is. Yesterday was the first day I've Postmated in a while. I guess that's how you say it, Postmated. But we're going to make some deliveries right now, maybe go some thrift shopping, and I think I have a date tonight, so... Uh, We'll see how it goes. All right, so I just dropped off my first delivery. It was actually a bigger one. It had seven items, so hopefully the tips are gonna be nice. But right as I picked up that first order, I got another order came in at 1.2 times normal rate. So I didn't have to wait for the second one. Now I was trying to go to Starbucks. So Postmates is looking pretty um, busy today, so that's good for me. Also, I logged in and there was a new thing saying you could auto accept new orders. So I, I put that in, it didn't auto accept the second one, I don't know why, but um, this new feature of auto accepting seems pretty cool. So you don't miss out anything when you're picking up something, you're talking to somebody. So I I'm, I'm think I'm gonna like this, let's see if it works. I have it set, but it's not working, but I have to go to Starbucks real quick, pick up this order. Postmates is looking pretty good. So I believe that the auto accept works when you're like off screen. I was in my GPS and then I got like a push notification saying that something was added to my stop. And before, when I dropped off something, I was in the screen of Postmates, so it asked me to accept it, but I believe when you're off screen, then it auto accepts. So that's pretty good because a lot of times when I'm driving and my GPS, I'm like, you know I'm not supposed to be texting and driving and doing all this stuff, so why do you want me to go into the screen and accept it? But this auto accept is going to keep me safe, it's going to keep me alive, and I like it. Cool elevator. I just love how lazy people are. I'm kind of capitalizing it by doing food delivery, but I literally bought a cup of coffee to deliver uptown to some dude in his office. And I, I mean, power to him for, you know, having the means to do so, but I feel like that's such a waste of money. And, you know, why can't your office, well, sometimes offices provide coffee makers, like my office has a coffee maker. I just understand, people are lazy. I don't even, I deliver food with Postmates and Doormates, but I never order it myself. So I'm like, I don't want to spend the money for someone to just bring me something I can go pick up. But that's just my two cents. I'm doing it. I'm I'm doing the young Postmates stuff, just, you know, getting some extra side cast. It just, every time I do it, I just chuckle how close I go to send some food or some coffee to person. Like, all right, I'll do it for you. So I'm getting back in the grind of doing some deliveries, doing uh, eBay. So right now, <clears throat> wow, my voice. Uh, right now I'm headed to Goodwill to do some thrifting. I had a big, a uh, little bit of a batch to do that I finished yesterday. Now I'm out of products to list. So let's check out what this Goodwill has. Fun fact, I hate rain. It is so annoying. Lunchtime. I'm not really going to cook for lunch. Just want something quick, but I think I'm going to cook something later for dinner. Got some leftover stuff out, tomato sauce, some broth. So we'll see what we do. Got some ground turkey right there. Probably make a soup. Oh yeah, looks so good. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look good, but it is satisfying. So we're gonna turn all of this into soup. Kind of a tomato and chicken broth base. A lot of tomatoes, a lot of leftovers. Like, see there's leftover tomato sauce and broth. Got our seasonings here. I want to go with the theme of this, these vegetables in the Southwestern blend seasoning. So, got a little bit of spice going on here. Just cooking with some leftovers, what I do a lot. Trying to be creative, but it's cold outside. Let's make some soup.
two main ingredients are in the frozen vegetable mix and that lovely ground turkey seasoned with all this stuff so let's start developing this soup boil toil something in trust uh, i don't know that witch's potion thing but boil infuse flavors infuse Here's a couple things that I picked up. I pick up things that are kind of unique. I pick up things that's something I would wear. I pick up things that are like brands that sell well. I like colors, brand, something cool, something new. Pick up a lot of stuff for the eBay page. Nick Fines, you know, we do business out here. Nice color basic, basic shirt right there, Arizona. It's kind of unique. Stitching in there, you know. Try to stay up. All right, so now and this is the part of my day where I try to read. I try to do it in the morning or whatever I have time before I get on my computer and do some work. But right now the book we're reading is Stickability, uh, The Power of Perseverance, and it's in the series of Think and Grow Rich. I think it's like a Neapolitan, authorized by the Neapolitan Hill Foundation. I think he's a writer on like success on how business people does success. So yeah, I'm reading, try to read a couple pages a day. Reading is a little bit hard for me. So I try to make myself do it, force myself to do it and take notes while I do it, do it, do it, do it. But yeah, it's time to read, try to stay educated. I usually read like nonfiction books to try to learn some stuff about business and being a better person and succeeding in life. So let's get to it. Bookworm time. There's always another way. The key is to listen to your inner voice and outside counsel while being willing to adapt along the journey. they are challenges and not problems, you know what I mean? Oversimplify your problem. What is it? What's the starting point? And what is the solution, the ending point we're looking for? Just be logical. Oversimplify the problem that you're trying to solve and your answer will come after time. Learn something new every day by continually being aware of your environment and pay attention to what people are concerned with. You got this, y'all. Pro tip, if you're going to a show or any type of event or any type of venue for a date or whatever, just take the time and look at the, and research beforehand because you might find a coupon code or call them and see if they have any promotions because I just found a buy one get one free for the show we're going to tonight so i'm ha <laughs> i'm very happy but yeah pro tip always check you never know i've called some place and they're like no we don't do that but you never know when you'll get lucky check facebook twitter all that hashtag save money all day baby the tickets for the most fabulous story ever told by paul runnick Okay, let's see what this is about. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm back from the young date. Went pretty well. It was a classic um, dinner and a show. We didn't go to a movie, though. We had some Indian food, and then we went on to this play that was um, performed by a local theater company. Actually, a pretty interesting play. It was definitely... Uh, something different what I'm used to is very very out there, but uh, It was very it was interesting. It was pretty entertaining at the end. I was getting a bit cold on low-key like dozed off But I, I enjoyed it. This is the outfit real quick. It's uh, real simple This is just a coat cuz it's cold, but got this young Walmart button-up shirt All the way with the black bomber jacket as you can see there's the bomber um, Come down have black pants and then I have the young van. So simple black, black, blue, blue outfit. I don't know if I did a good justice uh, job of showing you it, but yeah, this is it. Boom. I haven't been um, stepping out with the young fashion stuff yet, but I think I have a fashion video coming soon. But this is a quick vlog. It's probably not going to be too long. Um, wanted to put some content out there, try to get better at vlogging and vlog a little bit more. But yo, it's your boy Nick. I'm going to bed. I gotta work tomorrow. I'll catch you guys later. My day off was was a success.